week four, the Raiders lost their previous game against the Broncos. Can Denver finish the sweep? Find out next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the front He's just west of downtown Denver to Power Field at Mile High. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, you look at the Raiders in this matchup, you figure they've got to be looking forward to this one. They've got a clear advantage on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, they totally understand it, not just by running the numbers, but those numbers do play into it because you've got one of the better passing offenses in the league, a top 10 unit, going up against one of the poor defenses in the league. So I think we're going to see these guys take some shots downfield. But right from the start, I expect them to attack and get right after it. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Time for our first look at the Denver offense. And, of course, a new face of the Broncos. Nine-time Pro Bowler while in Seattle, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. A good start. One play, 10 yards. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the point they run it again with Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on the play. It's third down and six. To throw is Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. On oh, the return is Renfro. Now they try a lateral, but it doesn't work. It's a loose ball. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. for the point after. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7 nothing. The scoop and score always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Hunter Renfro to return it from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. That is the Raiders take over on offense. We get to see the man who has been the leader of this team for nine seasons now under center Derek Carr. And it certainly had to take over long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
Oh, and oh, right away, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And he'll be marked down at the two-yard line. And Parker, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been in a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling, maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well and make that a better play. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Now, Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now it's Wilson, and the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver, Jerry Judy. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos go up by two touchdowns. McManus' point after is good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown run from Jerry Judy. From his end zone, here's Renfro. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Play action. Now it's Carr. That one into the hands of Adams downfield. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. On play action, it's Carr. He hits Adams complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Waller from four yards out. And the Raiders are back within a score. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. Five plays there on that drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, they'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. 
series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 26. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Throwing again here, Wilson. He'll get this underneath to Edmonds. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. We're trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now Wilson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other side. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. This one fielded at the five. There he goes, left side. 30. And how about that return inside the 20-yard line? And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. Now a play fake, Carr. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Carlson able to put this one through. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. It's halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. From his end zone, here's Renfro. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I just... And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour.
Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will level the playing field at 17-all. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. So now we look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Broncos. Corwin Sutton, 75 yards. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. They will take a seven-point lead now. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Renfro. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. Creeping up on 1,000, could get there on this drive, so a challenge for him to do that, but also defensively, maybe a challenge for them to not allow that. And that means probably kicking even more coverages to his side. And what that really means is wherever he lines up, you will have a cornerback over in his area. Now instead of blitzing your linebacker, drop him into coverage. Instead of the safety dropping into regular coverage, that safety moves into that area to try and discourage the quarterback from going to it. That means everyone else, win your rounds. You've got an opportunity to catch passes now, too. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. And his throw is incomplete. Now these two teams have met up in Denver earlier this season with the Broncos winning that one. So they're looking for the series sweep here in Denver. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage. We're going to about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 32-yard line. On play action, now Carr. He's got Adams on the comebacker. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Card out of throw. There's a nice move. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They're going to hurry back to the line now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Carr going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They could not convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They begin the drive with Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the three-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Wilson down around his goal line. Flushed out right. And he'll go down the 
in the end zone. Down goes Wilson. It's a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Free kick out of bounds. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Automatic first down. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. So now an extra point doesn't help much. He'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Carr will look to throw, and this is caught, and it's a three-point game. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. On first down, Wilson. And that Williams loses the football, and the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Able to find Judy. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Now Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And it's complete to Adams. Touchdown! Devontae Adams. His third touchdown of the game, tenth on the year. And the Raiders will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Carlson on for the PAT. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Carlson down to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. So Russell Wilson in the offense. Down by 10, a minute 14 to go. Throwing now is Wilson. Finding Sutton, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Wilson to throw. He'll go out to the flat for Edmonds. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Now Wilson. He completes this to Sutton. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Here's Wilson. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they have the football that will set up sharp at the 33-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing to, having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores. Pretty much game set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So for Las Vegas, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Denver, add another loss to the pile as they drop to 2-8 and eight now on the year. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. Thank mm -hmm. you.